Well, we officially recorded our first 80 degree temperature of the year. It went above and beyond with 83 degrees. Tomorrow is going to feel and look identical with the summer feel continuing. It was our first 80 degree day since the 21st of September. It has been quite some time and it felt more characteristic of summer. We are still hanging on to the 70s just before 1115 in the evening. If you open up the windows, let in some fresh air, it'll feel refreshing outside. Overnight lows will eventually fall to the 50s but still some upper 60s on the board along the lake shore, dropping to 60 in Finley and falling to 61 down in Putnam County to our north and west, still in the 70s in Wisconsin and Minnesota. And it's hard to believe those are areas that were inundated with snow all winter long and are now feeling like summer. High pressure keeping sunshine in the mix. Nearest rainfall, you have to go all the way down to the Gulf Coast to find a drop of rain. Sunny and warm weather for tomorrow, 83 degrees and identical temperature. The only difference is the the wind will be a touch calmer, 10 to 15 miles an hour, but the same direction winds will be coming from the southwest. It'll be a little crisp feeling when you head out the door to work. You'll need that light jacket lunchtime up in the 70s. And for those after school sports with the kids or just a walk at your favorite park, it's going to be in the 80s with a brilliant and sunny feeling day. Now with the sunshine and warm up, those allergies are really starting to kick it up a gear this week. Tree pollen is the primary allergen that may be bothering you. We got off to a very early start this spring and the weather it does play a role in that due to how mild this winter was that kick started the allergy season a little sooner this week we are forecasting high levels the pollen count in particular the tree pollen that is what likely is aggravating your allergies tree pollen is very high and it's expected to remain high through the end of the week and we are looking at some changes in the weather this weekend next rain chance that'll come in late Saturday a couple thunderstorms possible this is not going to be a severe weather weather type setup, but it will bring us some big changes in the temperature department. I'm watching a cold front. This is going to come in from the west. It'll bring us rain late Saturday into Sunday. Now the good news is ahead of this front, most of Saturday is going to be dry with temps in the 80s. Now Saturday night into Sunday, that is when the front could make for damp conditions. Wet weather is going to continue through Sunday and temperatures are going to plunge behind that front. Some changes in the weather the next four days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, a trio of days in the 80s. But by Sunday, showers with temperatures plummeting down to the 60s behind that front. Now we are going to stay warm through the weekend. There is going to be a lake breeze though on Friday, so I just want to give you a heads up that it will be cooler along the lake shore. And overall, we do bounce back to the 60s, but it is going to take a little patience. That change in the weather comes Sunday into Monday as temperatures fall to the 50s and we do bounce back to the 60s, but still a far cry from the summer like warmth this week.